Hello, welcome to Scale Modeling, and welcome to part one of our build of the Ravel 144 scale Type 21 German submarine. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button below and the notifications tab so you can get notified of the videos as they get released as we go through the build progress. And also, if you haven't already, go back and watch the unboxing of this and you can get an idea of uh, my unboxing of everything that comes with the kit and review of um, what it's all about. Okay, so um, what we'll start with here is I've got out um, pretty much all the bits and pieces that I'm going to need and we'll, we'll just go through all of... Um, some of the extra things I'm going to do, uh, my choices of paints, um, primer, and other accessories uh, to get this thing built. Okay, so as you can see, this is a bit of a, a unique looking model. The box cover art here shows that whole the whole one side of this submarine is all open and we can see all the interior. So that's going to be interesting and something different, uh, building all of that. And to do with that is the paint. Now, I'm going to be using Tamiya paint right through this, although I do have a little bit of Mr. Hobby, only because some Tamiya paints are a bit unavailable. And going into the manual here, the color call out here that's included with the kit you can pretty much just ignore completely because not only is it pretty vague um, but it it really doesn't give you any um, accuracy whatsoever all right so to go for example if you want to know the color of the hull which we want to paint the instructions in here are telling you matte gray and as we know, there are a multitude of greys available that it could be. And matte grey means nothing. Um, there's no reference to any brands. It's not telling you which brands, uh, whether it be uh, Tamiya or uh, Mr. Hobby or whatever. Um, there's nothing there. So I've come up with my own colours that I'm going to be using. And, and I'll sort of work it out as we go. Um, now, I do need to get some extra paint, which I'm going to head off today and do. But there's some flat white I've got here because a lot of the interior walls in here are going to have a bit of white on them. I've also got off-white, which I need to get more of, but that may be my preferred colour to do some of the inside, just that off-white. The actual colour of the submarine, I'm going to, I'm deciding on probably doing the dark sea grey, which is XF54 um, in Tamiya. So get that focus, there we go, XF54. That's the colour I want to do the side of that. I'm also considering doing the deck a little bit darker, just to just to break up that colour a little bit. So the deck I'm looking at XF24, dark grey, and and you can see the contrast in the bottom there of the difference in the colour. Um, so that now, mind you, these things may change, but that's the plan at the moment. Now I also have an, a few blacks, so we've just got X, X1 black, we've got, uh, there's a metallic Mr. Hobby black, um, which is a really nice, it has that glint through it, it has a metallic, uh, it's definitely a nice colour, and we've got a NATO black, which is a sort of a grey, greyer type of black. 
all will find uses, particularly in here. If you can notice all along the bottom here, and I think over here as well, are all the battery packs, which are all going to be black. Um, so, yeah. Now, there's other things like the uh, crew uh, sleeping quarters where you've got all the bunk beds. There's a sort of an orangey color for the frames of those. Um, and I've got a mixture here which I used when I built the Varieg German uh, missile cruiser. I used that for the deck and that came up a really nice brown type of red. So I'm going to use that probably for those. I've got a few um, desert yellow. Again, some of the walls will be yellow. There's also a flat flesh color. Now, the, the desert yellow was an XF-59, and the flat flesh is 15. And they're just just a way, different shade of yellow. Might be able to make use of them. Um, also, we've got some red, which would be probably the the heads of the missiles, ah, sorry, torpedoes in the front. Uh, the engine, uh, which is depicted here as green, I have a um, olive drab color, and I also have a dark green. And while I'm out today at the hobby store, which is, by the way, RC Crew, I'll put a link to them because they're my go-to for all these paints and, and stuff that I need for my model building. Um, I'm trying to find a, a bit of a lighter shade, something between these two. I'll have a look at that today. Um, also, we've got uh, thinner. So, Mr. Carl Leveling Thinner is what I've been using lately. Um, great stuff, works for all this. And I'm using Mr. Surfacer 1000. I've got a fresh one I haven't touched yet. That'll be for the undercoat of everything. Very handy. <coughs> now, I've also decided to light this up. So we're going to be putting LED lights in here and lighting up the individual sections that you can see. Now, to help with that, I've been on eBay and I've got uh, this here, which is... Uh, this carries, uh, it's a little box that has two by a AAA um, batteries with an on-off switch. So that will be the power. Also bought these, which also carry those little flat batteries in them. Um, that's an option as well. I'm, I'm not too sure because I need to know, figure out where I'm going to mount these so they're out of sight. So hopefully... Um, these thin ones will maybe work and still fit under the stand but this one also may fit under the stand somewhere where I can mount it out of the way and out of sight but either way I've got those now on eBay eBay I also have ordered um, LED lights um, I've ordered um, two colors if I remember right but what I've done is I've got a white so I've got a few white ones, and I think I've got uh, an orange colored one, or yellow. But I figure that if I'm going to add colors in here, if I want a red light somewhere, um, I'm just going to paint the, um, the lens over the diode of the LED. Um, but we'll have a look at that when we get to that. And I haven't, obviously they haven't arrived yet, but uh, when they do come, we'll have a look at that. And of course, the usual uh, few little tools here and my favorite display nippers here. So, um, next step will be to get this box open, pull out these sprues and uh, get them sorted out in a place um, where everything's in order. And I'll go put these back over where the airbrush is in the other room. And um, we'll make a start on things. How's that? Okay, back shortly. Okay, so we're back and cleared the desk a bit here. And I actually went out and bought paint that I needed. So now I have um, some more uh, C Gray XF54, 
because I was getting a bit low on that. I've got some green here, which I wanted to use for the, it's a clear green, um, X25. Um, the idea for that is I want one of the, at least a couple of the lights inside to be green, so I'll be painting the LEDs with the clear green and see how that comes up. Might have a use for it in there somewhere as well. And I was getting a bit low on off-white, so I've got some Mr. Hobby off-white. Thanks to my mates down at RC Crew uh, with my good supply of paint, no problem. Okay, so let's open up this and get these out. Um, as usual, it's a Ravel box that opens from the end rather than the top. Don't know why they don't change that, but anyway. So there's the body, the hull of the ship. We've got the other sprues out. That's it, empty. Right, so we've got one here with the hull, two, another one there, and there's two in here. And that's it. So that's quite simple. We're not going to have to worry about uh, labelling all these sprues to find anything. I don't think that'll be necessary. So what I will do is uh, grab a container uh, to stand these and put them in and then we'll um, come back and take a look at uh, find out what step one is in the instructions okay okay so I'm just going over the sprue pieces here and um, realizing that uh, they're not leaded like a B C or anything like that um, in fact there's there's nothing to indicate one from another uh, they're just numbered so all the pieces are numbered um, but I've also noticed that some of the numbers are not uh, in any consecutive order like here for example we've got number 75 then there's 42 43 um, yeah 75 and then on completely separate sprue there'll be number um, what's that 58 next to 105 and then there's 112 next to 74 so anyway it's not too hard to find um, the instructions do show a picture of the sprues and if you you know are really having trouble finding a piece it's just a matter of uh, using that as your guide um, yeah it doesn't take much uh, to figure that out but what I'm going to do now is um, I'm going to go and wash these in some warm soapy water just to make sure there's no residue on them and, and they're nice and clean. And then uh, I'll try as best I can keep them in the plastic they were in uh, just to keep them um, nice and clean. So I'll be back shortly. Okay, so let's have a look. Step one. So step one. Um, looks like it's those hydroplanes, if that's what you call them, that sit towards the front of the submarine. And these are mechanically operated so you can actually slide them in and out. Um, there's also, there's to start with the colour, a couple of colour call outs there. And I did have a look, so we've got B and J. So, B and J. So let's have a look which I've already done but anyway so B is grey matte no problem which will be the same colour as we want the outside of the um, submarine to be and J oh J is grey matte why they've got two different letters for two exactly the same colour no idea Anyway, as far as I can tell, the one that's J is inside um, and may or may not be able to be seen, depending on how far you can see through. Um, I'm going by the picture on the box now. We'll just bring that over and have a look. So, on the box itself, we have a look. So, these are the parts we're doing. And the mechanism is inside up inside there which is the grey J grey and this is all open here 
and really unlikely you can see in there and I don't think that's going to matter either way it's all going to be painted grey alright so let's uh, let's find these pieces on the sprue so we want uh, number four first let's have a look for number four what have we got here it's not going to be on that one. Oh well what I should be doing is just looking at this and it's going to be on that so let's have a look all right number four there's piece number four we'll put this away out of, out of the way Let me just make an adjustment to the camera because I had it adjusted up bright for that instruction booklet. Let me just dim it down a bit. Okay, that should be looking a bit better. All right, so there's our piece right there. Let's uh, take that off, number four. Just clip that off. and then we'll have piece uh, number seven so there should be two number sevens okay, sorry let me adjust this camera again because it's a little bit boof, too close to me one second okay there we go that's much better so now what are we looking for piece number seven there they are two of them in there so we'll take these two off obviously I'm just roughly um, nipping them off at the moment um, we'll be trimming them up properly and uh, sanding them flat as well I'm not going to leave them rough like that um, so then we need piece number 8 which is where is number 8 Probably not near number seven. Let's have a go. Where are you, number eight? Uh, it is pretty tricky finding that one. Now oh, there we go. There's number eight there. Okay, I gotcha. So we'll drop that one off too. Eight. Yeah. We got number, what do we need? Six and five. They're the two rudder, I guess, or planes that go on the top. And six and five are labeled separately, so we make sure we get the right pieces for that. Let's see. There's six and five in here. So we can take them off. That number six. That there. And number five. Mm -hmm. You'll notice that I've got a different view um, of my work. So all, all my previous videos, you would have been looking from the other way, from the top across down, where I've remounted the camera now, so you're looking from my perspective down on things. I thought that might make things a little bit easier. So, all right, so there's all the bits we need for step one. Um, it is saying that none of these pieces need to be glued um, because they all move so I'm guessing that they're just going to slot into the places where they go but anyway I need to go and trim these up and tidy them up and get those nub bits of plastic off and sand them nice and smooth and uh, I'll be back when I've done that okay back sec okay so I've cleaned up the pieces here 
and I've just attached and done half of it so you can get an idea of how this mechanism is going to work so first of all the rudder goes into the piece here and then there's this bit here on the other side which it goes up into and sits in and this section here sits on top and works as a lever so you can see that if I slide this up and down uh, once it's in that hole there that's what sits there so that's going to move up and down so that's going to operate those going in and out and this one will go on this side this piece will go in there and um, just by sliding moving one in it will push uh, the other one uh, the only thing is that I need to paint these now obviously I don't want to, this thing jamming up because it's painted so what I'll do is I'll take these off and I'll go paint these separately now uh, do a bit of undercoat Mr. Surfacer, um, paint them the colour we want that we're going to do the hull, which I think will be 54, if I remember right. And all, all this section here is faced up under the hull into the top, so this section can't be seen. Um, if you did stick your nose down and twist your head and were a contortionist and look up from inside, you would be able to see the underside of this. So, which is why they're saying to paint this. Um, so I won't paint that area because I don't want the paint interfering with the piece sliding through here. But I will paint this side uh, the grey, the grey they want me to. All right. So that's that's what I'm going to do, and uh, I'll just show you in step. So we've come through and we've we've put all the mechanism together that's it all put together there nothing's glued because when it's up inside the hull there's a couple of little sections on the hull where it's going to sit slot into this we pressed up I'm assuming this will be pressed into the top uh, to stop uh, with you know what I mean like once there's pressure down on there there's nothing's going to come off and, and and still allow it to open and close these um, hydrofoil planes whatever they are, rudders. Right, so um, I will go paint that now, although I'm looking ahead now to step three and there seems to be another rudder that needs to be done. And that, I will have to check where that goes. I'm assuming that's going to go on the rear of the submarine. And I figure, well, if I've got the paint out and I'm doing this, uh, then I may as well paint that too. Um, the colour call out on here is D though. Let me just check what it's saying for D. So the colour for D is huh, really matte grey. Okay, so again, grey. So this is what I mean by the colours are a bit <laughs> uh, not really good so we've got B is a grey matte D I just mentioned there is a dust grey matte and the J we were doing also before is a grey matte whatever so I think the smart thing to do would be to do the rudder the same colour as I'm painting these so um, let's quickly grab the the rudder off the sprue and uh, as you can see in step three we'll um, glue those two together because obviously it's saying we glue them and uh, and then I can paint them along with the other mechanism that I've just done kill two birds with one stone all right back shortly okay so as I've looked at the instructions a bit more here, um, I've come to the conclusion that they're asking me to fit things onto the hull of the submarine um, and paint these things before I've even paint. They've even suggested painting the hull, which would make these things quite difficult to mask up. It would make more sense to to paint the hull and then fit these after they're painted. So that's what I'm going to do. And also, um, before fitting these, um, there's also the um, 
show you here. So where the, the screws go on either side, there's also um, supports for those. So I'm going to build those up because obviously they have to be painted the same grey as well. So there's one for each side. We'll paint those. Obviously, I won't put the screws on because they've got to be uh, a bronze colour, so they'll be later. But I'll, I'll get those pieces out and, and get them ready to paint um, along with all of these pieces. Um, because then, again, here they're telling you to fit one side and then they're telling you to fit the other side onto the main body of the submarine which you haven't been asked to paint yet um, yeah so I'm not going to fit them before this is painted that seems to make sense to me anyway not only that but because this submarine you can see inside it I have to paint the inside as well um, so again fitting this that sits the mechanism sits on the inside of the submarine um, is going to be difficult to mask up and then paint the inside. I hope that makes sense. Alright, so what I will do is with okay so what I'll do is I'll get those pieces um, cut off the sprue for the props uh, the screw to go on to there and uh, ready to and paint it will undercoat and paint them and uh, probably have to start taking a look at uh, putting a, our coats on the actual submarine itself as well all right so back shortly now one more thing I noticed <laughs> I'm good at picking these things aren't I so step five is putting this rear section together where the, the screw is going to connect now if you look closely there it looks like there's a tab that's going to slide in on the end there so that that fits and if you go to the next step because there's one to build for the other side again you see that there's and I'll bring that up close so you can actually see so there's definitely a tab that slides into a slot at the end of there but when you go to the pieces themselves and here's one side uh, there's there is no no hole for the tab to go in and here's the little piece with the tab on it and yeah there it's not going to go in there is it because there's nowhere for it to go I can show you a bit easier there see that's supposed to slide in so if you're doing this model yeah just cut that right off sorry that focus better yeah cut that tab right off so it sits flush and then put it on there for both sides uh, I haven't trimmed it but yeah uh, the instructions are a little bit tricky there they're telling you that there's something for that to slot, in, slot into and there isn't so cut that off alright back again okay back again and uh, I've got the other parts all undercoated and drawing at the moment um, I will leave them till tomorrow or maybe a little later this afternoon I'll give them the, the base coat but what I was thinking of doing is getting these off the sprue tidying them up and getting them ready to undercoat as well and uh, because these need to be painted pretty soon already in the build because even though we're down to uh, step 8 putting the stand together which is painted and um, undercoated at the moment. It's not long before they're telling us to put the the hull on the stand and start putting decals on it. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, and they're saying H is the colour for inside. Let's have a look at what, what we got here. So H is... A light sky mat light gray silk mat silky mat light gray anyway I've already decided it's going to be a off-white so I'm going to do the interior of this off-white and in here we'll need to put decals so 
yes, the first time I've so early on, early on in the build, you know, we're only on to step. It'll only be step ten of, uh, you know, fifty, fifty odd, and we're putting decals on. But that's what they're saying, so that's what we're gonna do. Uh, yeah. So at least that section that's not got the cutout for the view through. This section we've got to get that white. Um, so I'm going to undercoat both of these and do them, and do the white on the inside of that. May as well do the white on this as well. Um, this side you won't you won't see, but it's going to help uh, reflect the LED lights that are inside anyway. Now I was also going to. Um, drill out the holes here because there's some markings on here you'll see and these are like vents for when the water's on the deck and it runs off so usually uh, these are water vents um, but looking closer particularly not so much on the back um, I may be able to do that but on the front here it's also got all the vents along there if you can see there they are um, the problem is if I drill them out and make them all holes through there then I'm going to have the LED lights bleed through and I don't want that. Um, so I'm probably going to resort to painting them black in there as it looked in the real thing because it was black. <laughs> the, one on the, the ones on the other side, if I were to drill them through there may be a problem with light bleeding through as well from the LEDs that are going to be inside here on the roof um, yeah so again probably just painted black um, yeah not my choice but of the preference of what I would want to do but I'll have to otherwise I'll find that oh, they're going to have to be covered up anyway on the inside if there's light getting through. Alright, so I will um, take these off now and I think that'll do us for part one. I think um, because I've got a, a little bit of painting and some drying time to get through. So we'll end part one here and and follow up everything else in part two. So once again, thanks for watching and please subscribe if you haven't already subscribed and hit that notifications bell so you get updates of each time the videos come out. I'm going to try and release these on Mondays or Tuesdays, um, which will show the work that I did on the weekend. So it'll be up to date of where I'm at in the build when you see these videos. Um, please comment below if you've got any comments below I welcome comments if you've built this kit before you know maybe you know some issues I may come across or some tips um, to do things um, the LEDs have got me a bit worried because I'm not too sure how I'm going to go about that yet and how well they're going to fit I'm still waiting on them to come from eBay so I can actually see the size of the LEDs and how bright they'll be um, yeah, so at least when I get these off the sprue and I can put them together, I can just see how much room I got to work with. That, that'll be important too. All right, so again, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see I'll see you all in part two of the German submarine Type Twenty One build. Cheers, all. See you then. Bye.